evening. This is Derek Chamblay broadcasting from Chamblay, Atlanta, the next great American city. Battleground Zero, the epicenter of the 2017 civil defense of the United States of America. Still a beautiful, clear, sunny day in Chamblay, Atlanta. It's winding up on 6.30 in the evening, Thursday, July 20th, 2017. Derek Chamblay, Cy Radio, Cyber Citizen Network. We're following, of course, the uh, breaking news, following Trump path, Donald Trump's path to victory. And today it's uh, Nixon, Trump path. Intel Inter, Nixon, Trump, Pat, at any rate, uh, so many, uh, so many articles breaking today, um, coming out of Miami, Florida, a billionaire supporter, mostly of the GOP, the Republican Party, Republican Party candidates, a multi-million dollar donor, to Jeb Bush's PAC committee, Right to Rise, which enabled him to put together over a hundred million dollars to start his campaign in the summer of June of 2015. And interestingly enough, it was the day after Jeb Bush declared he was finally said he's running for president. When he went to a bunch of fundraisers uh, before that, saying he was just thinking about it. And just thinking about it, he raised, through that loophole, he raised over a hundred million dollars, mostly from secret donors, not so secret, some like Mike Fernandez, and uh, mostly unlimited, unlimited uh, uh, donations uh, at any rate uh, in June uh, in June 2015 when Jeb Bush declared that he was he finally he got over thinking about running for president uh, he, he uh, declared his, his uh, presidential campaign officially in the day the day after something like the day after uh, uh, Donald Trump declared his uh, campaign for the presidency. And um, we're, we're following, uh, of course, uh, the, the, the breaking news about Mike Fernandez, the billionaire out of Miami, Florida, that uh, also funded, uh, sent a lot of money to uh, Marco Rubio uh, on his PAC committee and whatnot, and uh, has funded, uh, sent a He's saying today he's not going to contribute anymore to the Republican Party, to the Republican candidates, uh, to the ones uh, I, I would imagine in the Senate and the House that do not stand up to our, our current President Donald Trump. And um, it's probably connected uh, largely to uh, health, his health care approach. Uh, and, and possibly uh, his uh, approach to uh, immigration in, in the, the wall uh, along uh, southern Texas there, along Mexico, the Mexican border. At any rate, uh, Fernandez says he, he's calling in, in the, uh, the political article, he's calling uh, Donald Trump a lot of a lot of names, something like uh, the abortion of a human, um, and and um, Fernandez made his his billions uh, in the healthcare uh, industry. Side note there, and uh, at any rate, uh, <clears throat> has contributed a lot to um, uh, to the healthcare situation and, and given a, a lot of money away charity and whatnot. And, uh, also, uh, the, uh, and you just, uh, you know, uh, go to Wikipedia and find out about Miguel, nicknamed Mike Fernandez. Uh, he was uh, rooted out of Cuba by, in 1964, his family forced out 
and uh, they went to Mexico City and eventually uh, made it to the United States of America. And uh, he, he started out uh, doing odd jobs. He was, he was poor and, uh, well, uh, he, he wasn't uh, rich at that point and rose to be uh, a multi-billionaire. And um, at any rate, so he's calling uh, uh, President Trump a lot of names, uh, a false idol, um, abortion of a human, um, and, and uh, anyway, that goes on. We're also picking up an article uh, linked to uh, Jeb Bush, the Bush family. Um, Marco Rubio was made by the Bush family and um, their particular deal in 2014 to share donors and that uh, uh, whoever won in Iowa, uh, Jeb Bush said he would back Marco Rubio 100%, but uh, we followed that before. It seems as though he double-crossed Marco Rubio at some point, uh, started attacking uh, Marco Rubio, telling him to resign his Senate seat, and, and uh, we know that the PAC committee uh, spent millions on attack ads on Marco Rubio uh, in 20, the end of 2015, uh, and uh, it seemed to be a, a strange uh, strategy uh, at the time, and uh, it probably came out of Thanksgiving and Christmas meetings of, of the Bush family when, uh, you know, Jeb Bush was probably saying to him over and over over the years, he wasn't really interested in running for president, and uh, he didn't want to do it, and his wife didn't want, his Mexican-American wife did not want, uh, did not want it. Uh, probably that he'd be more comfortable with another state, uh, Florida statewide race for uh, the U.S. Senate seat of, of Marco Rubio. So they made a deal, you know, Bush was going to, Jeb Bush was going to make it seem like uh, he's going to raise a lot of money, he's going to make it seem like he, he's serious about running for president, but he really didn't have his heart in it, and, and, uh, and then he was going to withdraw and, and put his support behind Marco Rubio for president, and then uh, when Marco Rubio resigns the Senate seat, uh, he was he was hoping to to get the, the U.S. Senate seat and carry on his particular agenda, Jeb Bush, as far as right to rise and as far as uh, the, the 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 core education uh, kinds of things. At any rate, he double crossed Marco Rubio. He sent uh, the, the Bush family sent uh, Marvin Bush to Texas to help uh, the Ted Cruz campaign. Uh, he did not endorse Marco Rubio after Rubio finished ahead of him in Iowa. Uh, he did not endorse Marco Rubio as late as their March uh, secret series of secret meetings between uh, Jeb Bush directing them uh, with, with Ted Cruz, separate meetings, Marco Rubio, and, and uh, John Kasich in Miami on the 9th of March to March 15th, which was the uh, Florida uh, winner-take-all 99-delegate primary, and also that, that day, uh, the Ohio winner-take-all uh, primary, uh, John Kasich's home state, and Jeb Bush did not support, coming out of those meetings, did not support Marco Rubio and would later endorse Ted Cruz. Go figure. Well, sometime probably in, in the Thanksgiving and, and by the Christmas meetings, uh, the family, the Bush family, probably convinced Jeb Bush that uh, the new savior of the GOP, the new savior of the Republican Party, will be his son, George Prescott Bush. Yes, who was the elected land commissioner of the state of Texas and has the control and an influence over the, the landowners that are needed to build the Trump wall. Okay, so now back to Florida. Back to Florida. Uh, and uh, at any rate, the, the great deal just before the Republican convention, uh, uh, they, 
because Jeb Bush would not endorse uh, Donald Trump, even though Donald Trump said e eventually Jeb Bush will endorse me. Uh, and uh, however, Jeb Bush, the Bush family, Jeb Bush sent his son, uh, uh, had his son, George Prescott Bush out of Texas, endorse Donald Trump. And so the, the great deal in 2020 will be that Donald Trump accepts the son of a Bush, Jeb Bush, George Prescott Bush, as his running mate. He's, uh, at some point, Mike Pence is going to drop because Mike Pence, uh, actually, when uh, uh, Michael Flynn testifies, he's going to testify that Mike Pence had full knowledge of the contacts with Russia. Mike Pence was sent by the anti-Trump Republicans that were never Clinton, that became never Trump, that became never Clinton again. Uh, after Marco Rubio turned down the vice presidential uh, uh, offer of uh, candidate Donald Trump, the nominee at that point, uh, they sent Mike Pence and Marco Rubio tweeted uh, that it was a good choice uh, to represent the uh, anti-Trump Republicans as they turned into Never Clinton again. Well, anyway, so in 2020, the deal is going to be, it's going to be a Trump-Bush ticket, and that will carry Texas, and that will carry Florida, and in uh, recommended reading, uh, uh, entitled Watergate in the Downing of Nixon, Part 5, Big Picture of Richard Nixon and George H.W. Bush. Uh, and uh, at any rate, uh, it's a very uh, lengthy piece, the fifth part, uh, and it uh, came out ten hours ago uh, by uh, who, what, why dot co dot org. So you can you can go online and get it, uh, and it's it's uh, by uh, Russ Baker. At any rate, uh, and it traces the link between uh, the grandfather of of Jeb Bush. Prescott Bush that funded the financial rise of Adolf Hitler uh, and armed Adolf Hitler in Nazi Germany, the war machine, all the way to 1943. And in 1946, he made Richard Nixon in his first congressional campaign out of California. At any rate, Nixon returned the favor by... Uh, uh, appointing his son to U.N. ambassador and then uh, uh, switching him to the head of the, Nas the National Republican Committee uh, in the throes of Watergate. Uh, and and then uh, sent him to, as a first envoy to China, uh, him and his, the whole Bush family. And then... <clears throat> George Herbert Walker Bush came back, and uh, the new president, Gerald Ford, uh, appointed him to be the CIA director. Anyway, they're uh, tracing these ties, and the namesake for Prescott Bush, his great-grandfather, is, is uh, the namesake of George Prescott Bush, is Prescott Bush, his great grandfather. This is site for 2020 hindsight. Derek Chamblay and uh, broadcasting from Chamblay, Atlanta. Cy Radio, Cyber Citizen Network. And um, at any rate, uh, this is uh, all coming really, really fast. Uh, in the in the breaking articles on uh, uh, basically, there's there's so many that want. Uh, President Trump to be impeached, and you know they they compare his path to, and and that's what we're following Nixon Trump path, and uh, so at any rate, but if you if you go uh, and Google George Prescott Bush, you'll find you'll find uh, the article uh, listed uh, the the who what and why dot org Watergate and the Downing of Nixon Part Five. Thank you very much.